exactly 150 miles off the coast of Scotland, where they produce one of the most efficient and tasty forms of farmed animal protein in the world. In the middle of January, it's pretty bleak and barren, but people have been drawn to these islands for over 6,000 years because of the rich waters that surround them. The sea is obviously a source of fish, but large-scale fishing is just as controversial as livestock farming and also has a damaging impact on the environment. There is, however, a farm out there that year after year goes on producing huge amounts of sustainable, meaty protein, and it does so with very little energy input. In fact, all you really need is quite a lot of rope, like this. I've come here to meet Michael Tate, who has agreed to brave the conditions to take me to his farm out on the sea lock. Michael, nice to see you. Turned yeah. out nice. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> welcome aboard. OK, thanks. Just take a hold of the rail. This small patch of sheltered water is a mussel farm. Hanging below the water are 19 kilometers of rope covered in hundreds of tons of mussels. We're in among uh, the structure of the mussel farm here where you've got these headline rocks up top. Yeah. And down from there, they're hanging into the sea is the dropper rocks. Is it really as simple as just kind of lowering the ropes in the water and waiting for the mussels to latch on? In effect, yes, you're right. We, we hang the mussel ropes, spat collection ropes, into the sea in the spring. The spat, hopefully, settles onto those ropes. Well, we'll, just have, we'll just have a look at these mussels here now. These mussels are, are coming up to be about three years old now. OK. And ready for harvest. OK, and how many tonnes of mussels do you kind of harvest a year? Our company harvests about 1,000 tonnes of mussels a year. Wow. The great thing about this form of farming is it has a very low carbon footprint. The mussels spontaneously grow on the ropes with practically no inputs. The largest source of energy that goes into farming them is the fuel needed to power the harvesting boat. And that small carbon footprint is further reduced by the fact the mussels actively soak up carbon and use it to build their shells, locking it away from the atmosphere. And they've had a pretty good clean-up, so when you, from being on the ropes yep. to now being ready to, for further processing, we take out the little beards here, so this is the business which they're using to hold on to the ropes, yep. and these are just removed, and that's it. They're ready to eat after that point. I think it is wonderfully simple, isn't very, it? Very, very simple. So there's about a tonne of mussels in here, incredibly efficiently harvested and very low carbon footprint. It's about 250 grams of carbon dioxide equivalent per kilo of mussels. That makes mussels one of the most efficient forms of farmed animal protein. Their carbon footprint per kilo of meat is about 10 times less than that of chicken and 30 times less than beef or lamb. Not only are they eco-friendly, but they are also a healthy source of protein, low in fat, and with high levels of omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin B12. Despite this, most of the mussels we produce in Britain are exported to the rest of Europe. Right. Nice hot mussels, wind blowing loudly outside. Let's see what they taste like. Mmm, it's well, certainly the freshest I've ever had, and even though I say so myself, they're rather well cooked. Now, the Martin mussels is on the right, and that may partly be due to the fact they justifiably have this eco-friendly reputation, and that takes a little bit of the pressure off meat production. Certainly gives me a warm glow, knowing how little damage they're doing to the environment. So you could improve your own health and that of the planet by replacing the occasional meat meal with a bowl of mussels. And though they are never realistically going to replace chicken or beef, they are one of a number of alternative sources of animal protein that we could use to bolster our diets. 
Fish Farming, the controversial